keep peace. I love my bitches, this pretty, they showing their titties, this up to the ceiling. Holla, I run through a million, I rock with a really, let's fuck on a bitch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Jatera Rianne. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's tutorial. I just filmed this beautiful braid out with some perm bras at the end. I'm going to get into all the products and all the how-tos in just a second. But before we get into it, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure you are subscribed. Mwah. Braid offs are the easiest hairstyle known to man, I swear. So jumping right into today's video, we are starting off with freshly washed hair. The curls are popping. I'm so in love. I'm going to use the Even NYC's H2O Hydrating Scalp Serum and the Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat um, as my heat protectant because I will be blow drying my hair using the Revlon blow dryer. It's the, it's the best blow dryer ever, okay? So I'm going to saturate my scalp with this serum just because it's the winter and my scalp has been dry, like flaking, like dandruff. I just found that to be so disrespectful. So I am massaging that all throughout my scalp and then I'm going to part off my first section for the blow drying process and I'm going to fully saturate it with the WOW Dream Coat. So far I like this. I do want to try other formulas that are at Sephora so we're gonna see how I like them once I get my hands on them but I'm going to detangle and then blow dry my hair I like to go um over the top of the shaft and then pull down so I can get as much tension as possible because this helps me straighten out my hair quicker I am um going back and forth between the cool setting and the low setting the low setting has heat um, if I just did cool setting the entire time, I would be here for two days. And don't nobody got time for that. But I'm not trying to have heat damage, so I like to switch back and forth until I have something that looks like this. Your girl's hair has been growing. Do y'all see this length, this fullness, this health? Ah, uh, we thank God. Let's take a moment to thank the Lord above because y'all know my hair has come a long way. So now we're getting into the braid out portion. I'm using a little bit of this gold series cream throughout my entire hair, but I'm gonna focus this end mender from Even NYC on my ends. And I'm just gonna be parting out my hair and comb rolling. A lot of people do their braid outs with individual braids but what i have realized is if you braid down like a comb roll um you'll have less frizz within your roots so that's why i like to do it this way if you are trying to grow your hair i highly recommend braid outs because they're so protective when you're going to sleep or wearing them throughout the day you just got regular comb rolls in that have been fully moisturized your hair is fully detangled um it's perfect versus you going to sleep with a puff ball that gets super knotted so yeah i'm just doing basic comb rolls if you don't know how to comb roll this isn't the video for you but learn how to comb roll babe i promise you your hair will thank you so once i get to the bottom of my braid i'm going to use these perm bras okay and i'm going to wrap them up into the braid because i want them to stay but i don't even recommend using perm bras y'all because about five of these things fell out in my sleep when I woke up that morning I had to put them back in. See, that's what the content creators don't be showing y'all. I recommend braiding your hair all the way down and just securing it with a scrunchie or a rubber band. Just make sure you don't pull your hair out with a rubber band because the perm wraps always slip off my hair. I also try using flexi rods. Now flexi rods are more bulky and more irritating to sleep with, but they do work better. So that's another alternative. But yeah, I'm doing the same thing all over my head. And I believe I did five comb rolls on each side, maybe four. I might be lying. Double check me. And I went to sleep with these and warm a little bit the next day. So in total, they were probably in my head for like 16 hours. And yeah, in a second, we're going to get into the results.
So when it comes to taking these bad boys down, a lot of people add oil to their hair. I will not be doing this. First things first, I think I added too much product when I was braiding them down. So another tip will to be used as little as um, of product as possible because you don't want it to weigh your hair down. But when I put oil in my braid outs, twist outs, flexi rod sets, anything with curls, it weighs it down and it makes it, it gives it a great shine, but it makes it oily and the style doesn't last as long. So I just take them down regularly dry hands nothing on them and i try to separate it where it wants to because your hair will let you know where it wants to separate at and you'll see how some of my ends are kind of sticking up because the, the palm rods they fall off like i said but yeah once you take them down you want to fluff out your hair i'm going to show you how you should position your fingers you can also use a pick or a wide tooth comb but using my fingers works the best um this is really to just get rid of all the parts so the back of your head don't look crazy look at my hair i'm so i'm so thankful it's growing this is going to be my style for 2024 and we're going to come back and we're going to see how much my hair has grown because i swear this is going to make my hair grow So funny story, I was in Target the other day looking for a specific edge control and they were all out even though on the app it said that they were in stock. So I was like, you know what? I walked past the got to be glued and I was like, I haven't used this gel in so long. And I used to use it on my edges and I liked it, but I knew that there was something about it and it made me stop using it so i picked it up it's super affordable for this big jar i'm probably not gonna run out anytime soon and i remember what it was y'all it flakes a little bit but the hold i think is worth it i'm not returning it. i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it and you know just top your hair with some oil just top your edges with some oil and you should be good to go but this is how i always lay my edges um, I love to swoop these swoops. I love the dramatic look. Some people don't like it. If you don't like it, baby, don't do your edges like this. Simple. And in order to keep my edges in place, I have to secure it with a scarf. Every single time. I don't never miss a step. Okay? But yeah, y'all, that's really the finishing touch to this style. It's super cute. I'm in love. And I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. Okay, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you try it out, tag me. I want to see the girls with their hairstyle, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, moms.